Hello and welcome back to my channel, Miami Star Tarot. This read is for Scorpio for the first week of October, October 1st through 7th. This is not a love reading or career reading or any particular type of reading. I just want the cards to tell me whatever Scorpio needs to hear for this first month of October. We do have a full moon coming up on October 1st. And I thought it would be good just to have a little bit of an idea as to what we can expect for that first week. Okay, I will be doing a three card spread. It's a mini read and an underlying energy. So let's find out what's gonna happen with Scorpio during that first week of October and the full moon. Get these cards a good shuffle for Scorpio. more good shuffle and then I will take flyers. I'm actually going to do one more. I feel like I need to clear it a little better than that. That was good. Okay. Now we are ready to take three cards for Scorpio for the first week of October. So far most of the reads have been about love. I think that's really on a lot of people's minds. I feel like most people that go on um, YouTube or look for, you know, videos, you know, on tarot, it's a lot of it is about love. So that's why I think most of the readings come out that way. I had one career reading so far. Okay, Scorpio for first week of October. Scorpio for first week of October. I need three cards. I need three cards. There's one. Okay, we have the High Priestess. I feel like this one might be about love too. That's too many, I'll put those back. Nine of Pentacles. I need one more for Scorpio, please. One more card for Scorpio. I'll take that one and not these. All right, two major arcana cards. And it looks like Scorpio is inquiring about love, all right? There you go. Okay. You have two major arcana cards. One is about um, intuition, secrets. Um, it's about keeping things to yourself. And you have, amongst other things, and you also have the star, which is about like inner transformation, um, becoming the person that you want to be. You have the nine of pentacles in the center, which leads me to believe, Scorpio, that you are a little bit at a crossroads as to what you're going to be doing. Um, you, are, you have the seven of, of wands as your overall underlying energy, which leads me to believe that you are in a situation where you feel like 
you have to defend your position for something, okay? Um, honestly, it feels like you, you have a secret, okay? What that secret is, I it's it's not really telling me, but it's a secret that I feel that you are not ready to share with anybody. And it could be about love. I am going to do a clarifier, even though I don't really do this for this kind of spread. It's something that I feel it's self-fulfillment type of secret, but you're not really ready to share, okay? Um, the High Priestess is also a card about, it's a very sexual card as well. It's not always just about intuition and, and it is, it really is, but it's also about um, being sexually attracted and I'm not sure what that secret could be, but it's definitely has to do, I think, with your lo with love and also um, whatever direction, but it's kind of a, it, it bothers you inside a little bit, I think, that you can't really express this and it could be many things, Scorpio. Um, see if I can get a little bit more clarity. But I feel that it's you will be happy. You feel like it's you and that's who you are inside and what you want out of life. Now, it could definitely be um, your sexuality about that. It could also be about somebody that you have your eye on and you're just not entirely sure that it will be a relationship that will be supported by your friends and family, okay? For whatever reason. Okay, the world. You got the world, which is a huge, I think, a huge change for you. And it could be a cycle of something new. Now, my strongest feeling here that I'm getting is that you are struggling inside a little bit with some of, some of your feelings that you have. And I, I do believe that a lot of it has to do with um, love, sexuality. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that maybe you're having feelings for same sex. It could be that. It could also be a person that you're not sure that you're ready to come out and let them know how you feel. It's obviously something that you hold very dear inside of you and you're just not ready to express how you feel. Um, and it could simply be if it's, if it's maybe same gender situation, then you're just kind of waiting for the right moment with this world card here. But either way, it's definitely, it's, it's who you feel you are inside and who like that. Once you're able to express that, you're going to feel very happy. Okay. And very much like you can be the person that you are. Um, if it's not that, then it is a person that makes you feel very happy inside, but you're just not ready to express yourself. And I feel like some of it has to do with the reaction of maybe family and friends. Okay, if you're a male and you're in, you know in love with a certain female, maybe that person is not someone that your family would approve of for whatever reason, okay? So the High Priestess is really talking kind of more about the secret and the, the sexual part, you know, that lusty kind of feel behind the secret that you have. For whatever reason, it's you're keeping it a secret. You know, that's up to you, Scorpio, okay? So your read was a little bit, I think, more... Um, restricted to very few people out there Scorpio but that's that is the feeling I'm getting from this these cards okay so um yeah maybe that's just something that this this first week of October you're really going to be giving a lot of thought to okay so that's all I have for you Scorpio um please leave me some feedback like my channel subscribe if you'd like to see more and thank you for watching and I'll see you later Scorpio bye-bye